Changes have changed. Several drivers struggling to find the balance and the grip down into turn one, about 140 miles now. Hug the white line on the inside like it's your favorite, Granny. Whoops, we've locked the front brake and gone a little bit wide, so the lap untidy already for Barrichello. Now he can just gently feed in the power, trying to minimize the traction control. The right kink of turn five ahead, but that's an absolute nothing in any racing car. Heavy braking then for six. Just gets off the brake pedal in time to get the nose into the apex. So very untidy so far then for Rubens. A great turn seven. Surprisingly not full throttle. We've seen drivers spinning off there through practice. Eight then, easy enough, but you have to compromise that to be ready for nine, the small left-hander. Immediately a, a left kink, but that'll be full throttle and a short straight up to about 160 miles an hour before heavy braking into a tightening little left-hander and a crucial part of the racetrack. A long, initially quite tight right-hander begins to ease on you. You've got your foot flat on the throttle, but the front wants to push on like a speedboat. Now you're into the back straight, building up to 205 miles an hour, full 15 seconds on full throttle. Nothing for the driver to do, apart from wishing he was going even faster. Now he breaks at about 105 meters before the first gear hairpin. A lot of understeer turning in there, but at least the balance is beginning to improve as the lap unfolds. The important final turn then. Arrive, drive, nail the throttle on the exit. That was quite good and clean. Second consecutive pole for Rubens Barrichello. Not a great lap, but Michael Schumacher spun off and let him off the...